Hi guys, my name is Rudy Ortiz, and for the last 20 years, I was a barber. So if you're a barber, a hairstylist, or in the cosmetology business, a nail tech, a masseuse, so on and so forth, even a personal trainer, and you work in the gym and you want more clients, I want you to stay tuned and pay attention to exactly what I'm about to tell you. I am no longer a barber, but while I was a barber for 20 years or so, uh, I managed to open and close seven beauty salons. I've opened them, I sold them, and even lost, okay? My last actual uh, venture was a $100,000 barbershop, which you see here. You can see it on my Facebook. Uh, you know, I spent $100,000 of my own personal money. Sad part was that I had to close. And when I closed, I went homeless. I lost my car. Uh, I lost my basic relationship because they say money can't buy love, but try love with no money. Okay, nothing was easy. I went through the worst depression of my life. And of course, I'm a boss, so I was able to get back up, okay? Uh, with that being said, I want to get into something called Barber Social. The one thing they don't show you in school when you graduate as a cosmetologist is how to market yourself, how to get more clients. And this is what my goal and my task is, okay? I want to take this and give you the, edu the education you need right now to be able to market yourself. So Barber Social is a self-marketing system. And we're going to discuss the, the biggest number one platform in the world which is right now Facebook. Facebook literally owns the world. If you're not on Facebook, you're making a huge mistake. If you are on Facebook, you probably don't know the tools that you have at hand. So this is what we're here for. We're here to guide you step by step on how to promote yourself through Facebook. My goal is literally to teach you how to market yourself using the power of your own social media, which you already have established and created. For those of you that don't know, Facebook owns Instagram. So you would be using both. And my training includes this. Will everybody ever wonder why Facebook is worth $350 billion right now? It's because it's the most powerful platform in the world. For those of you that don't know why, everybody's seen this before. This is a sponsored ad, okay? It's popped up on your Facebook screen, on your Instagram, through your phone. It will forever pop up. That's how they make money. And it's the smart guys like me that know what that is, okay, that has you guys watching. So I want to show you how to get your own sponsored ad up, okay? What is a sponsored ad? It's basically a promotion of yourself, a Facebook Live video, anything you decide you want to do, okay? You want to just post it on there, but you also want to do something called Boost Post, all right? So I'm here to show you that. I want to show you step by step. And no, not any genius can learn this by themselves. Obviously, I learned this because I paid and I became a mentor in life right now online. I am an online marketer now, which is awesome. So a sponsored ad, this is probably what it looks like on your Instagram. You've probably seen restaurants, uh, clothing, ice cream. Anybody or anything can sponsor an ad. Any kind of business can do it, all right? I just got to show you the pudding. You won't know how to bake the cookies without the recipe, right? That's how it works. You also have to get something called a target audience. What is a target audience? A target audience is, if I'm a barber, obviously, I need to go and get the right people to see my actual uh, sponsored ad, right? I need to show you how to do that. There's also tricks to this, which is awesome. Google AdWords is another way, which I'm gonna show you. This is all available to you right now. Google AdWords is how do you get uh, in front of the competition, all right? And all barbers are in competition, I'm sorry. But what I do know in the industry is that there's always clients out there looking for barbers. They just don't know where to go. So you also want to use Facebook pixels. Pixels are what people don't know, okay? Pixels are a thousand squares. When you put them together, they make an image, right? When you make this image, you get a full version picture. It's the same thing with Facebook, but Facebook has to get smart for you. I need to show you and guide you what, is, what exactly are pixels and how to install them on your website. It's not as simple as you think. All right, Facebook Insights, you'll have full control and full access to everybody that's actually looking at your content and viewing, okay? So for instance, this is an example, all right? Somebody paid for a Facebook uh, uh, ad. This ad actually has 2.6 thousand uh, views, right? Page likes. You'll get everything broken down to you. These are called Facebook Insights. How many people you reached, your post reach, how many people engaged if you have a website already created for yourself, that's awesome. All right, this is how you start to gain massive traffic. And if you're a barber, you want to do this for yourself. Why? You want to be able to fill up those days, those empty days. I know Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays are our busiest days as barbers. We can make anywhere from $1,000 within three days, right? Cool. 
How about we fill that up between Monday through Wednesday, right? Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and be able to take Sunday off to spend with our family. It would be awesome. So you literally can start a five-day ad and have full control, which is great. I want you to compare this. If you're a barbershop owner or you own a beauty salon or a nail salon, whatever it is, if you own it right now, I've done this myself. I've been there and done that. So there's no way you can lie to me and tell me that these are great investments. Sometimes they work, but most of the times they don't, all right? I just want to compare this price. If you go to the post office right now and you do a bulk mail out, it's going to run you anywhere up to 1500 bucks just to get a flyer in every single mailbox, right? In your zip code. That sucks. That's too much money. Flyer handouts. You get two or three people to hand out your flyers in traffic during red lights with your t-shirts on. I've done that also. That's about 150 bucks, right? An event tent. Anytime you have an event with your city, uh, your local flea markets that they do on the weekends, you want to get a tent there. It's going to be about 450 bucks just to be there. Does it work? It might work. You get to interact with your actual, you know, your city and your people, which is great. Magazine ads are the worst. I would never in my life do this again. First and foremost, who reads magazines now? Hardly nobody, right? And if you do read a magazine, it's at the car wash while you sit there, and you're probably only getting to about page 10, which sucks. Cool? But that's about 2,500 bucks for a quarter ad, and you're probably in the middle of the magazine. Don't go for it, don't fall for it. Radio ads are the worst thing. 30 second ads, okay? You're talking about $3,000. $3,000 for radio station ads. Come on, let's be realistic one more time. Nobody's listening to the radio anymore that far. And if I do listen to the radio, when the commercials come on, I cut them off. Why? I'm using Pandora, I'm using Spotify, I'm using so many other ways to stream my music. So this is a worst investment you can make into a business. It's crazy. Just like this, but we're not going to get into this subject. This is something totally different, all right? But compared to the prices that I just showed you, I want you to actually understand what it's going to cost you to run Facebook ads. $3 a day. You can run them for seven days. You're going to reach thousands of people within your targeted area and your targeted audience, right? And that's all going to cost you $21 if you run it for seven days. $21. You're telling me you can't afford 21 bucks? Of course you could. You're telling me this investment doesn't look better than all the other ones? All I need you to do is like, comment, and share this video. And if you can, I want you to actually comment, I want in. By you saying that, I'll get back to you personally, and we can establish a relationship, and we'll go from there. I appreciate you guys you know, checking this out. If you stuck around this long, that's great. I'm proud of you, and uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you. From there, like I said, like, comment, and share. Success with Rudy.